Hello everyone, my name is Sahil Rastogi. I'm a senior firmware engineer here at Avishkar. In this video, we are going to talk about the new interface and features of your favorite programming software, Avishkar, Maker Studio, or AMS. You already are aware of AMS to be an easy and fun way of coding your own Avishkar brain units. We have enhanced this one by adding some really new cool features like machine learning, AI, and over the air programming or OTA for short. This video specifically talks about the online version of AMS that can be easily accessed by running it in the web browser of your laptop, tablet, or phone. As not all the browsers support these features, we recommend and propose that you use Google Chrome browser to make the most out of your experience. In this video, we'll cover AMS new interface, AI mode usage, and we'll learn these things by using three examples. Example one would be program burning to brain using BLE. Example two would be use of AI mode with simulator. And example three would be use of AI mode with connected bot or hardware. Open up Chrome browser on your laptop and log on to avishkar.cc. Once the website opens up, you can sign in on the website using this option over here. You can log in either using your mobile number or any of your social media accounts. I'm going to log in using my mobile number for this example. Once you're logged in, you can access the AMS using this button over here. Select AMS AI from these two options. Once AMS opens up, you are welcome with this pop-up over here. Over here, you have the option to code with Avishka hardware. Select this mode if you want to program your Avishka brain units. The second option is code with artificial intelligence. Select this mode to program your own AI models and control your bot connected over BLE. And the third section is recent files. Over here, you can see your five most recent projects that you have been working on. For the purpose of this video, we are going to select code with Avishka hardware. Once you select code with Avishka hardware, you will see all these options. The first one is your robotic series. So over here, you can select either uh, Light 2.0 BLE Brain or Full 2.0 BLE Brain. The second option is your MakerBoard series, from which you can select MakerBoard 2. And the third option is your MexCore series, from where you can select MexCore or MexCore Plus Brains. For this video, we are going to select MakerBoard 2.0 option. Once you select MakerBoard 2.0, you're welcome with the main AMS window. So the main AMS window is divided into four parts. The first one is your header, where you have your basic options like opening up a new project, opening up any of your pre-existing uh, pre saved projects, downloading your current project, and checking out the examples. Over here, you can give a name to your project and save it. And then you have the options to compile your program and burn your program. On the left, we have the blocks library which is vertical right now, as opposed to horizontal in the previous version of AMS. In the center, we have the main workspace where you will be creating your actual program. And on the right, we have the make a simulation. Creating a program is same as before. Just drag and drop a block into the workspace like this. I'm going to drag another block. Now to save a program, just give it some name. Uh, for this, let's say I just name it test one. Click on save button. Then you can compile your program and then the burn button becomes active. Over here, you have two options. So the previous option of using AMS burn tool still stands. You can just download your AVX file and use ABT to burn the code. The second new option is BLE Connect, through which you can connect to your brain using Bluetooth and program it over the air. Now let's start with the first example. In this example, we're going to see that how we can burn the program on our brain using BLE. Now for this example, we are going to use the maker board mode. We are going to create a program that will allow us to change the patterns on the maker board matrix on the press of button. Now let's start with making our program. We are going to drag a my program block from the control section and then a repeat while block from the loop section. Now to program the buttons, you have this button category over here we are going to drag if button press block like this. So the first button selected is W. If button W is pressed, we want to display a pattern. For that, we'll select a show pattern block. 
and you can select from any of these patterns in this list over here. We are going to keep it the first one, the snake pattern. Now we are going to duplicate this block and select button A and select another pattern. Let's say this duck pattern. Duplicate it again. Select S and another pattern. Let's say this up arrow. Duplicate this block again. Select D and another pattern. Let's say this heart pattern. Once your program is made, you have to now save your program. Give it some name. So let's say button, pattern, switch. Click on the save button and then compile button. Now you can also run this program on the MakerBoard simulation. So let's do that first. To run the simulation, just click on this play button and your code will start executing. Now you can either press the WASD keys on your keyboard or click on these buttons on the maker board. So let's say I click on W and you can see that this snake pattern appears. Click on A, we have the duck. S, we have the up arrow. And on D, we have the heart pattern. Now let's burn this program on our brain using BLE and see how we can run the program on the maker board. Once you've plugged in your maker board, just click on this burn button, select the BLE connect option and click on pair device. Make sure the Bluetooth uh, from your laptop settings is turned on. You will see your maker board appear over here. Select it and click on pair. Once the connection is complete, this burn button will become active. Now please note, once the code is transferred via Bluetooth to the brain, it will reset itself to execute the burn code, causing the Bluetooth pairing to break. To burn another code, you will have to repair the device. Now click on burn button to upload the code to the maker board. Once the code is uploaded, your brain will automatically disconnect from the AMS and you can run the code on your board. Now as per the program, let's press W button and we can see the snake pattern appear. Press A button and we can see the duck pattern. On S, we can see the up arrow pattern. And on D, we can see the heart pattern appear. Now for this example, we are going to select code with artificial intelligence. Select MakerBoard 2.0 from this list. Now when the AMS window opens up, you can see that your camera window also appears over here. Just below it, you have the option to configure your AI model. When you click on configure AI model, you are welcomed with four options. The first one is images. Use this option if you want to train your model purely on the basis of the images captured. The second is hand pose. Use this option if you want to train your model based on the key points of your hands. Third one is PoseNet. This model can detect body poses. So use this option if you want to train the model based on the key points from the poses of your body. And the fourth option is face mesh, which is used to train a model based on your facial features and face key points. For this example, we are going to select hand pose. Once the model is loaded, you have to give it some name. So let's say hand pose 1 and click on save button. You have to give a label. So labels are basically how you want to identify the different poses. So for this model, I'm going to train it to detect this as 1, this as 2, this as 3 and this as 4. So my first label is going to be 1. Click on save. And now when I bring my hand into the frame, you can see that the AMS automatically detects my hands, draws certain key points and connects them using these green lines. Now to record the frames or to capture the frames, you have two options. The first one is this image option. Use this option if you want to catch uh, individual frames. So for example, when I click on capture, you can see that it captures just when I click on this button. You can clear the frames using this clear all button. The second option that we are going to use for this video is the video option. Now you have a few settings. Uh, the first option is your uh, FPS, which is currently set to 10. So FPS means frames per second, that how many frames do you want to capture in one second. The second option is delay. 
how many seconds do you want to wait before the before the AMS actually you know starts the recording process and the third option is duration so for how many seconds do you want it to actually capture the frames so 10 fps for 6 seconds means it's going to capture 60 frames now let's click on start recording I'm just going to move my hand around a little and you can see the recording process is done and we can see 60 frames over here now similarly I'm going to create another label name it 2 and start capture another label I'm going to name it 3 save and capture again Another label, I'm going to name it 4, save and start capturing again. Once you've captured all the frames, just click on train model button. And a pop-up appears showing the progress of the training method. Once the training is completed, you can click on test model to see how your model is performing. Now, as you can see, when I show it one, it shows 100% on one, 100% on two, 100% on three. I can even move my hand around and you can see that it does not change. And then when I show four, it shows 100% on four. And you can either download this model and click on download. After downloading, you can actually use this model uh, in a different project also. And now I'm going to click close. Once your model is trained, we can actually create a program and use this model in our program. So we are going to create a program in which we are going to use our hand poses 1, 2, 3 and 4 to change the pattern on the MakerBoard matrix. Now let's start with a My Program block, a Repeat While block and then an If block. We'll get this Equal To block from Control section. And for the AI label that is being detected by the model, we have this AI label block. So if AI label equals to 1, we want to show a pattern. So drag a show pattern block. So we are going to uh, let it be snake. Now I'm going to modify my if block for three more else if blocks. Duplicate this. So if AI label equals to 2, we want to show another pattern let's say duck if AI label equals to 3 we are going to show another pattern let's say this up arrow and if AI label equals to 4 we are going to show another pattern let's say this half now we are going to save this project Once your project is saved, you can run it using this play button over here Now when I click on play, you can see When I show 1, I can see snake pattern on the matrix When I show 2, I can see the duck pattern on the matrix When I show 3, I can see the up arrow pattern on the matrix And when I show 4 you can see the hard pattern on the matrix. Now if you want to stop this simulation, just click on this reset button and your simulation will stop. Now let's start with another example. 
In this example, we are going to see that how we can train an AI model and use it to connect to a robot and control it via VLE. Let's select code with artificial intelligence and select full 2.0 BLE day. Now first, we are going to configure our AI model. Now instead of creating a model from scratch, I'm going to use an existing model and modify it a little. Click on open drive and select hand pose one. So this model is designed to basically classify this hand pose as one, this as two, this as three, and this as four. I'm going to change these labels a little. So for this, I'm going to change it to forward. For this, I'm going to change it to backward. For this, we are going to change it to left and for this we are going to change it to right. I am going to add another label to stop the robot. I am going to train this as an action to stop the robot. So let's click on start recording. Once the frames are captured, you can click on train model. Let's click on test model. So this is coming as forward, backward, left, right and stop. Now we are going to close it. Now I already have a program made for this. I'll click on open and select hand pose robot control. So as per this program, if the detected AI label is forward, our robot will move forward. If it's backward, our robot will move backward. If it's left, our robot should turn left. If it's right, our robot should turn right. And if it's stop, our robot should stop. Now, we'll save this program. Click on this BLE connect button and select full brain. Click on pair. Once the brain is connected, we can now click on play to test our code. So let's click on play. So this means my robot is stopped. Now when I show one, it should move forward. When I show two, it should move backward. On three, it should turn left. Stop again. Turn right on four. And stop again. In this way, you can control your robot using your hand poses. Now to turn off the simulation, just click on reset button and your code will stop running. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video will be helpful for you to get started with AMS AI. If you have any doubts, feel free to reach out to us in the comment section below or contact us at support at avishka.cc. Thank you.